So this video is going to cover some clips and quotes I could find where Elon Musk, the richest man on earth, comments on Rocket Lab and Peter Beck. Now whether you love or hate Elon Musk, for what it's worth, you cannot deny that SpaceX is definitely the industry leader in terms of commercial space. So it's certainly interesting to hear Elon's opinion on Rocket Lab as a rival to SpaceX, even if they are relatively far behind. So the first clip I'm going to show and speak about is Elon Musk speaking on helicopter catch recovery. For those of you that don't know, Rocket Lab previously owned a helicopter on their balance sheet for the purpose of trying to recover electron rocket boosters. Their plan was to let Electron slowly parachute back towards Earth where it could be caught by their helicopter for reuse. And this crucially would stop any salt or water damage which would occur if Electron was left to land in the ocean. Elon Musk stated that he thought the approach would be harder than it seemed despite the small size of Electron. He also raised issues with helicopter capacity, weather and safety. Anyway, I'll play a snippet and the full link is in the description. Uh, but the, the, their booster is quite small. So the, the, the issue with, with helicopters is you run into a max load problem. Like the lifting capability of helicopters is not that great. Um, and that lifting capability drops with altitude. Uh, and then the range of a helicopter is also not that great. So, so then you end up having to have the helicopter on a ship. Um, and then if in, that, in heavy weather conditions, you can't take off. Your weather constraints at the launch point and the catch point are um, end up limiting your launch availability. It's 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 dangerous. You know, you've got somebody in a helicopter with, with, with a you know pilot trying to catch this thing coming out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's doesn't sound too sane. It, it, there's a, there's certainly the potential for somebody you know something to go wrong. Um, Whereas if you have a drone ship, there's, you know, if, if it smashes into the drone ship, it's not a big deal. If it smashes into a helicopter, that's a big deal. You know, overall, I've been, you know, that, that said, I've been pretty impressed with Rocket Lab, and they're, ma they're, making, they're making a go of it. Um, and they're, they're going to you know, do reusability, which is important. It's fundamental. Regardless of these concerns, Elon Musk did show his admiration for Rocket Lab, saying to others on the podcast that he has been impressed by the company. Now more recently we have seen that Rocket Lab has abandoned this helicopter catch approach and opted for an ocean recovery method in which they will prepare Electron to better withstand salt water conditions for reuse. So it actually appears that Electron had previously fared better in salt water than expected and therefore from a cost perspective they chose to move to this method. Rocket Lab's next launch, Baby Come Back, will take place on July 14th, and it will include a recovery attempt. Now moving on from this, I've also found some very recent media coverage on an excerpt from a book about the commercial space industry called When the Heavens Went on Sale, written by Ashley Vance, who used to be Elon Musk's biographer. In 2018, Musk, speaking on Rocket Lab, told Vance, that it is impressive that they managed to reach orbit. It's fucking hard. Bezos has spent a shitload of money and he hasn't made it. Articles on these comments go on to state that Peter Beck, founder of Rocket Lab, told Vance that college never felt right for him. Earlier in his career, Beck worked at a dishwasher manufacturer and in government research. To echo Elon Musk and many others, it's really impressive stuff considering his resources compared to people like Jeff Bezos who has only reached suborbital flight so far. Beyond these two short comments from Elon Musk to Vance in the book, Musk apparently did not have much more to say about Rocket Lab and Peter Beck. However, it has been noted that Musk enjoyed talking about Blue Origin and Bezos. A few years on when Rocket Lab announced the Neutron, their new rocket currently under development, which should better compare against the Falcon 9, Elon Musk tweeted a friendly congratulations stating that the Neutron looks familiar, but nonetheless was the right move, and congratulations to Rocket Lab. Rocket Lab responded to this tweet with their thanks and admiration for SpaceX as a company. Since then, Adam Spice, the chief financial officer of Rocket Lab, has stated that they are looking for Neutron to compete directly with Falcon 9, 
targeting a $50 million launch price compared to $67 million for the price of a Falcon 9 launch, which places the two options roughly similar in terms of the price per kilogram to low Earth orbit. However, we will first have to see if Neutron, both in launch and reusability, is successful before making any strong conclusions. Anyway, what do you guys think about Elon Musk and Rocket Lab? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe for more on commercial space and investing in general. Thanks for watching.